Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday night, Charting Horse Value. Jeff Bessa going to do the race of the day for Thursday, July 28th. And uh, just a recap from today, um, race five, I had that winner, race of the day. That was the race of the day I really wanted to do, Mooney Love. I love that horse coming in from Germany, and that was really my race of the day. But people like to see those stakes races. So I did race four, the something miss stakes. can't remember what what it is but um and you know predicted a pace battle thought uh frank's rocket would benefit from that pace battle he did he ran she ran huge sorry she ran absolutely huge uh but kamari ran her down and he she lost by a head kamari was great on the charts i kind of talked myself off of her um when i was looking at the pps sometimes it's best not to look at the pps honestly but uh frank's rocket ran great mooney uh, Mooney run love ran great so race of the day today was good let's see if we can do it again tomorrow um, <clears throat> so we're looking at race 9 11 furlongs on the turf this is non-winners of two other than uh, it gets a score of 5 which is the highest possible and every anytime you see that 5 you're probably going to see a horse with a spot play over here I, I don't know if I can guarantee it but I think it's almost every time you're going to see a horse with the spot play. And so a journey to freedom is an extremely strong wager. Now, 11 furlongs is a very unique distance. Um, three of the horses in this race are main track only. We'll talk about that in a second. And everybody else is stretching out. Okay. And you see a lot of these 0 0.6s, 0 0.5s, 0.4. This horse may be switching from dirt, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. So a lot of horses stretching out and don't fit the race as well as Balthus, who gets a one. Probably recently ran his last race at, at or very close to this distance. Now, when you get these main track onlys in here, uh, just a little secret, you know, it does cause a small amount of false value, a little inflation. For example, rating spirit is four to one. Best odds is 4.6 mathematically that horse should get zero dollars of value but without going into all the secrets of my program um you know th these three horses are in it and it's causing a slight inflation of uh, of how the calculations work uh, so this horse's value would go away this horse's value mud pie would would go away six to one you might get still a tiny amount of value out of the ten and six tiny but the value on a journey to freedom is rock solid. It's not going anywhere. 2.4 to 1, 2.7 to 1, 8 to 1 morning line, 2-3 form cycle, coming off a two-month layoff with good works. I mean, 90 energy is, you know, second best in the race. Um, you know, I, I once you take out the main track only, I mean, I like, I like this horse a lot. It's Saez uh, for maker. Nothing wrong there. Now, there's not very much pace in this race. This horse, Persimony, will come out. And so then you're left with Tide of the Sea is only like the real confirmed front runner. But this horse has horrible, horrible late speed. Um, but this 29 to 1 would probably come down once you remove the 1. And this horse is lone speed. Uh, so, I mean, that's something to think about. I'm still not going to play a horse at the bottom of my chart, but the horse is Lone Speed. Um, this horse here, the two, Cold Hard Cash, got the good form cycle. Tactical horse should be in a good position early. Um, you know, a lot of these other horses could be sitting pretty well back. Now, a journey to freedom, you know, does have pretty good early speed, but doesn't like to show it. But might be might be pr more prominent in this race um, than expected. So, kind of you know, I like the fact that the horse has some good early speed. Now, horses stretching out with these PFDS is like 0 0.6, 0 0.7. You typically want to see a close, something close, like awfully naughty, 93.89. I like that. Okay, I like how close those are together. Um, and 91 is a really good energy. It gets a C grade. That's probably why. Um, you know, other horses that are close. This was a 0.4. I don't know if I'm going to count it. Uh, obviously, Baltus is already proven.
but like this three mud pie, 85 to a 91, uh, or even reigning spirit, 63 to a 90. That's pretty extreme. Um, you know, they're, they're going to stretch out well. Now, reigning spirit looks slow to me. I'm not playing that horse at four to one morning line with that kind of energy. Uh, even Baltus looks a little slow. You know, I kind of like um, the two, three, or six. Now, the two maybe gets the jump on everybody, can run down this tie to see, maybe holds on for a piece. Three and six are going to try closing. Um, but I like, I think, uh, you know, a journey to freedom is definitely the win bet. And, you know, Baltus, you know, maybe use them underneath only in some tries and supers and try to connect with the two and the three as well with the, and if you want, maybe throw in the six, you know, those are the horses I would be looking at. But, you know, when you got so many options like that, it's hard to construct wagers properly. And so then a lot of times I just default to, to the win bet. I think a journey to freedom is a solid win bet. So let's try to get it home tomorrow. Take care.